Hey guys, it's uh, me Oscar <laughs> and I know it's probably been a year or two since uh, I made a video about the Trim Trim Life Hacks. <gasps> oh god! Two of the Kool-Aid. Shouldn't have put this here in the first place. You're going to ignore that. But I think right now is probably a good time to come back because, like most of y'all, I'm stuck at home too. Uh, so, these past five weeks, I've been in quarantine in Texas. Even though right now we are opening up the economy slowly, and I could just probably just go out with a mask, you know, driving around, go to a park, do some curbside shopping, walk my dogs. But I think it's, I'd rather do the responsible decision of just staying home until this gets better. <laughs> because I still don't think it's getting better, in my opinion at least. What my five weeks have looked like. I woke up, I, um, I woke up, I eat, I do some chores, I do some yard work, take care of the pets, maybe play some games. And it's honestly getting to me just now. And... <laughs> And then it kind of hit me. I was like, what could make my day more interesting by adding something? Hmm. So yeah, I have some tiny hands that I think will be fun to play with. I honestly forgot I had this in my closet and here it is. The tiny hands. The original tiny hand tricks up your sleeve. Might as well just start opening it up. Let's see. Here they are. I need to cut them with scissors. Alright, let's see. One, two. Alright. Here we go. Wait, I'm not in the frame. Wait. The tiny hands, I have them right here. Wait, this is right. This is the left. Wait, this is the right hand. Left hand. Now I gotta incorporate this. Somehow, I gotta plan something. I don't know how I'm gonna put these on. Hold up. Ah, wait. I'm trying to copy. I'm trying to copy the photo they have here. Okay. Oh, wait, that didn't work. Any longer sleeves? Okay. How about? God, this doesn't look right. Anyways, I ain't look so shocked. There we go. Alright, there we go. Here's the solution. The only question is, how can I use these? <laughs> Without holding them. This is dangerous and messy. someone all right so the challenge is just tiny hands what what we're gonna do with them I'm gonna follow my normal quarantine routine only using these tiny hands and see how I do honestly I don't know how I'm gonna do It's finally in the morning, I woke up, and now I'm going to try to use these tiny hands finally. Let's see what I've been up to, so, I've been watching some movies, um, I have been re-watching the Hunger Games movies for some reason. I started reading this book called Arguably by Christopher Hitchens, Good Morning Bella Jean, and here we go. Thank you. 
Alright, this is just for water. Fine. Back in middle school, I remember back in middle school, back going to high school. Going back to high school, I didn't really have a skin routine, and I wanted to just break out very bad. And we tried this very expensive <laughs> acne treatment, and I stopped using it after like three weeks. I could care less. I didn't really care about my looks when I was growing up. And it's probably something I still struggle with right now. But I think I, I think it's just for myself being I guess I try to treat myself better than I used to. You know, which I guess is a good thing and not a bad thing. Oh I got my eye. pictures of me in that now between uh, three years ago there is actually a big change and I guess that's a good thing I'm trying to guess what I'm trying to say is you should probably care yourself you should probably care about yourself now and later um, because it will benefit you in the future trust me I think that's good enough So after pat drying my face, uh, 
I started doing my face wash. Something I did notice while using the tiny hands over my regular hands when I'm doing my face wash is that it, it kind of made my, my face really tight. Um, by that I mean it feels very, very dry. <laughs> Okay, so now what's left to do for it and for my morning routine is just brushing my teeth. <laughs> All right, let's try doing this the right way. Okay, there we go. Now, mm. So now I realize I'm hungry and I didn't think about what I'm going to end up eating for brunch. And then I was thinking, go have some cereal, you know. Drop it. day normally I would go outside and maybe do some yard work and move some stuff around and be outside with my pets but um, it's been raining since the evening since the afternoon so it's been raining in the afternoon and I think I'd rather just play with my pets in the, st in the study room um, I guess it'll give me time to <laughs> show all the pets that I have now since last time I've been on the platform and this platform I haven't showed anybody on here uh, the new pets that I got and I guess we can play with them with tiny hands <laughs> this is one pet the second one is Heidi he actually appeared in my first video Shadow <laughs> Normally, the next instinct would be grabbing the other pets using the tiny hands, but I think that's unethical. So, I'm going to grab my pets, my other pets, using my bare hands um, and put them in, in their little playpen. I will pet them with tiny hands, but I'm not, I will not grab them because I think that would be harmful if I do drop them, and I don't want that. <laughs> so, it's a disclaimer. <laughs>
out here. It's more of the silver and high hold I look for my new CD next month, and that means for now. So come see me. Come talk to me. Come love me. Normally this would be the time where uh, I would play just dance for a bit. Um, and it came to me how I'm going to play with this with tiny hands. Well, I got two rubber bands on the Joy-Con. And it's going to work. <laughs> so I'm hoping this is going to be such a challenge to do since I'm not holding anything at all. Um, it's just basically just movement. And It has been brought to my attention that I never did an outro or a conclusion for this video. So I would like to take this time to make the outro here. It's been a few weeks. It's been a month or so since I recorded that video. I recorded that video back in April 27th. A few days later, I got called back to start working again at my part-time job. Going back to work, they have been one of the toughest weeks for me personally and externally uh, not just for me per not for me but for other people as well as recently i've been working less hours so i had time to edit the video 
but the point I'm trying to say is it felt more appropriate for me to edit this video and to put it out there because I just feel like this world needs more entertainment instead of looking at the nasty news that's been going on lately. And it's not something I'm saying to just ignore it. You should probably pay attention to that, but as well, you shouldn't really uh, stress yourself over it. Even because I'm, I'm pretty sure there's people out there who are just trying to, you know, just back away from that reality to watch something entertainful. And I'm hoping I did that here for you. So I'm not expecting anything from doing this and I'm not looking for anything, by the way. It doesn't need, I don't need a validation to be, I don't know, being a YouTuber. For those who reach this, this point of the video, I do apologize for my videos being super long. And I promise in the future they won't be too long. The white balance throughout the video was driving me crazy. They keep getting thrown off, making it super bright, very dim. I don't know. Uh, because actually I recorded on my telephone right here. I recorded it right here. And now you see I have new equipment around, which I will hopefully get to use in the future to make more videos and edit them and put it out there. My colleagues, my friends, my parents, other family members are very stressed out right now. Look at what's going on right now. And I'm really, I'm just hoping that maybe doing something entertaining or trying to make somebody smile will be the whole goal of this channel. I know I'm not the best editor out there, but I'm, I'm trying my best out here and I'm hoping I can get better. Uh, if you have any tips or maybe suggestions what I could do, I'd love to hear them. And if you think there's a point in this video, no, there is not. <laughs> so one last, one more last thing to say about those tiny hands. They are so impractical that I was going I was getting a headache from using them the whole day. And I promise I'll never do that again because I couldn't do anything. I was like so frustrated the whole time. Since this is the present time right now and we haven't seen that much improvement between coronavirus cases and Texas. I'm still going to try to be the responsible person and take precautions as necessary. I would just like to thank everybody who's been involved and being, who've been sharing the news and trying to be a voice. So, wear a mask, fight for rights. So, let's get through this year together and make a difference. And I'm kind of uncomfortable just talking about this. Thanks so much for watching, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.